Hey guys, I'm Local Vibes, it's Odie Vibes, your favorite music influencer from The Beam. It's 2023 and I'm already crushing goals that I've set for myself, for this year, and just for life in general. And these are goals that I put on my vision board, which include, you know, putting my digital creative agency in a more legit sense and starting my music podcast, Behind the Music, which you can check out in the link below. Let me know how y'all feel, how y'all like it, and even who y'all want to see. I'm a strong believer on making goals and taking action to achieve those goals that I set. I literally think of myself as a manifestation queen because that's literally all I do, baby. Or at least that's what the, I'm on the path to do. A lot of things and opportunities that I've been blessed with happen because of my mindset, my ability to vision my vision, which includes journaling, praying, and yes, most importantly, why you are here watching this video, making a vision board. And honestly, in my opinion, the best part about it all is that I'll have a vision and God will be like, oh yeah? And do something even bigger and better than I thought it could be. So I'll be showing you guys how to make a vision board and what you should include on your vision board. I used to be a big fan of making vision boards digitally, but I decided to actually make my vision board physically this year. And this included by me printing out what I want together in a Canva document, pasting it all together, and then framing it. And now it currently sits on my wall in my room, right above my stairs. And so I see it literally every single time that I exit my room. And I really love that, especially like in the mornings when I'm getting ready to go places, do something, go to work. Eat. You feel me? It's right there. Yet, yeah, something that I did do last year was make my vision board my um, desktop saver of my iPad <laughs> um, or like my phone, which you know? I also feel like is a good reminder to give myself accountability to complete my goals. And like, whenever I look at my iPad or my laptop, it was like, you know, causing me to want to focus more on doing what I got to do. Let's get into it. My vision board this year was in relation to what I aspire and what I wanted to achieve for this year and kind of life in general, but mainly dedicated to 2023. So what should you include on your vision board? First is figuring out what the year of the word would be. For me, the word of the year is excellence and it's pasted on the board. And at the end of the year, I like to reflect what I would define the year to be. And this doesn't really have to have in relation to the words I put, but it's just, you know, cool to reflect and see how, you know, things actually turned out, you know? And it also helps set an expectation of what I'm expecting for the year. So, excellence is what I'm kind of expecting. And I know it's there because I'm also this side. Next is figuring out what you want this year based off of different topics in different areas of your personal life. So this can include health, Wealth, career, love, relationships, you know, with friends, family, networking, travel, knowledge, spirituality, and fun. What I like to do before pasting pictures is to think and reflect on the past, so literally the past year, and also what I want for the future. So, you know, doing this by writing down in a journal or a dedicated space to keep tabs and put your wants into the world to exist, you know? Once you begin to brainstorm and decide what you want, find pictures, art, and words that represent what you want and who you're going to become. I used an eight and a half by 11 Canva document to paste image out since I knew the size of a piece of paper is eight, eight and a half by 11. An alternative for people who don't wanna cut pictures out, you could use an 11 by 17 inch Canva board and then just paste images there and print it out as a whole like size paper. When it comes to images, I just looked up just I just looked up things that reminded me of like what I want to do. Like for instance, travel, I had a picture of a passport on there. Um I am basically a vegetarian. I'm like more side on the vegetarian, vegan, pescatarian route currently. So you know I had healthy food on there or I had like a carrot just to represent like I'm on this healthy journey. I mainly use Canva stock images and you know, Google obviously, if I needed it or if I wanted to get more specific on, you know, the picture. Like for instance, when I'm looking up like a company logo or something that I wanna put on the vision board. 
Another thing that, that is being targeted and talked about is using like real people and like real people in life, like from social media and stuff on your vision board. Um, I feel like I never really needed to use like people because, you know, like I don't really need to, but I'm not 100% against it if you're using it to, you know, show an example of like action. Like for instance, if you're graduating and you have a picture of somebody whose face turned around with the cap and gown, I don't think that's 100% a bad idea, but I reiterate and I 100% totally suggest using animated stock images. It looks great, looks amazing. And if I did use any human type pictures on my vision board. It was literally a picture of me. Um, and it was a picture of me where I was in a space that I know I want, to, I was happy, I felt good. And I know that where I was at, I wanna grow. And it has to do literally with my career. And I know I wanna grow and continue being in spaces like this and become, you know, better. So don't be afraid to use your own pictures of times you felt good or you felt like represents your future of you because this is your vision board, your vision. When pasting images to the board, don't make the images too big now because remember, you're going to print it out and you're gonna cut it. So you wanna make sure that the images that you put fit, you know? So I had a couple of pages of eight and a half by 11s, but I made the sizing of the graphics kind of small. So just keep that in mind so that everything can fit. After finding images that define you know, your goals and you, your future, your journey, and the year in general. You can use magazines, you could use Canva stock like words, um, or even like Google words that in a sense define your journey that you're taking, your goals that you wanna set, and choose words that are like in nice typography, you know, to dazzle up your board, you know? I personally went to Etsy and I bought preset like cut magazine words out that were specifically meant for like people to do vision boards. I'm going to put the link in the description below. Check it out. Check out Etsy. And yeah, like print out those words so that you can paste them on top and all over, you know, your vision board. So after you get your words and everything, just print all it out paste it onto your board. There's no right or wrong way to do this. My suggestion though would be to put what you feel like is the most important in the center. Like for me, it's my relationship with God. So I had a clip art of someone kneeling to represent prayer and yeah, no right or wrong way to do this. After you done paste everything together, you're going to frame it. I bought my frame off Amazon, description is linked below. Frame it, hang it up, and just continue to roam in your blessing. You guys are going to kill this year, literally, if you put your mind to it and put action towards it. You know what I'm saying? A lot of things, it first starts in your mind. And once your mind is right and you align it up, you put those actions in. And that's when things really do happen. Dreams really do come true. I'm wishing everyone a blessed Bless, bless year. Go and get what you deserve. Happy vision board day because that's literally what today is. And yeah, shoot for the moon and for the stars. Ah, ah, ah. So yeah, um, I hope you guys like that. My camera's literally dying, so I'm like grr, rushing. But yeah, um, yeah, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And let me know how yeah it turns out. I hope that makes sense. Peace.